Ah, good afternoon, friends. We are live. We'll get right into, uh, you won't see much of my face here for a minute. We'll get right into the random teams. Everybody should be well aware of the break time, so we'll swap screens over here. Go into the random. We need uh, the names. 30 people in this one here. We got 30 entries. Four or more times. Five. Here we go. One, two, three. I spelled Kevin's name wrong. I apologize. I see it right here. I forgot to make my list, so I was scrambling to get this list made up in time for the break. Mr. Kevin Gnack. Gnack. Sorry, buddy. I, bu I butchered your name. I forgot your E. Boom. Problem solved. A uh, new one. The random team assignments. How's everybody doing? Friday afternoon, huh? Who's ready for the weekend? Four more. Again, you guys know the drill by now. I like doing these live. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you're paying attention. I like doing these now because... Uh, it just streamlines the whole process. Boom, you're here. This is what you got. Sorry. Or congratulations. Bill Larley, I see your comment, but I have my chat window blocked. What's up, Bill? How you doing, brother? Just another day of cards, baby. Fun time cards. Let's talk a little bit about Series 1. Why does it do this shit? Was it 12? Why does it always adjust the fucking text size i don't know Let's see how this looks do they all fit they do all fit okay oh well full yeah yeah john this is expected to break right now too it's wild i know that you're gonna ask so i just figured i'd let you know oh i already beat you to it bud i already beat you to it i said that long before that comment just popped up you're, you're behind, friend. You gotta catch up with the times. Tops acknowledged I exist on Twitter. It's a great day. Crop this down for you, though. Get it on the screen. We have a mixer in group in our Facebook group, Underground Case Breaks. Uh, that's almost full. We posted. I posted that this morning. I was up a little early. So I figured I'd get that going. Uh, we're going to do some football this weekend, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what's up for the Super Bowl. I don't know, but I have some nice football stuff to break. Uh, Laura, will you grab the printer, please? Thank you. I'll leave this up on the screen till I get the list. But this is uh, what you fine folks have. Really, I mean, with all these products, you can't go wrong, man. Uh, we got 2012. That last box of 2012 update I have is in here. Um... Bowman Heritage, Bowman Draft, Triple Threads. The last box was bad, so hopefully this one's better. Uh, Chrome Sapphire. Strat has been amazing for being a 2015 product. Uh, website 21. I don't know uh, if this will get out today. I highly doubt it, so don't, don't hold your breath on this shipping today. I'm here in lockdown in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep you going, babe. What are you doing down in Texas, Casey? Are you, are you on, like, an active assignment or something? Uh, switch it over. Come back over here. We'll get the, the teams on the screen for you guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're due for a one-on-one, -on -one too. We got spoiled with Leaf. Got to inflate our numbers a little bit. So now, now I'm chopping at the bit for another one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Teams on the screen. A little bit bigger. Don't need to see my whole my whole head. Daniel, what's up, brother? I didn't even see you grab the spot until a few minutes ago when I, I made my list. I forgot to make my list. So I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you saw the update at least about what time we were breaking because I, I don't know if I posted it to Twitter. I didn't kind of all over. And then I had a, a hiccup with a payment to my distributor today, but we got that ironed out. Um...
Hang on, I'm just gonna update this real quick. No. Excuse my phone too. I don't work out in the field anymore, so I have no real need to replace this phone. It doesn't get damaged now. Bobby Doss, thanks Bobby. Sorry, this is the only downfall of being one person. And then you gotta refresh it on mobile or it won't take some time. Good luck to Daniel, good luck to but good luck to everybody. TDY class I have to do in my job fun times. So oh, that sounds fun. Sounds real fun. We've been getting some good YouTube viewers. We had like eight YouTube viewers yesterday. That was cool. Uh, we had a bunch for basketball too. Bobby Daw. Sorry, let me just set it. See, I have seven notifications. I just went live. How does that happen? What is, like, what is this? And then it, and then it won't load. Facebook's terrible. The app, the desktop. Oh, it's about the standard envelope. Had zero issues so far. The standard envelope, guys, I made a post on the business page. If you guys want information that I have, uh, when I share it, I put it on the business page now because then I can just share it around and it's easier. Twitter, I can't do this. So if you're on Twitter and you're not on Facebook, uh, you can go to my business page without being a Facebook user. If you want to just read this article, I basically just chopped up all of eBay's uh, information on the standard envelope. I think this is a game changer. And then the actual envelopes they recommend. Uh, so that's, it's a really good option. It's cheaper than a stamp, man, to fucking ship a two ounce package. Granted, I don't know what the envelope weighs yet. So the envelope weighs two ounces, then that's out the window. But, uh, it's a, a, a forever stamps, like 75 cents. Granted, I don't, uh, I don't PWE anything. I don't play in my envelope or anything. I don't like it. I just being a business person and what have you, I, it's not in my best interest to do that you know make people unhappy real quickly or if somebody just doesn't like me you know i don't i don't want to have any issues with that but the fact that ebay now lets you have tracking on these small these smaller cards is fantastic i can't even offer you that shipping option through my own website so we'll be loading up ebay here uh, whenever these envelopes i order 200 of them whenever they show up we'll be loading up my ebay page with a bunch of uh, cheaper cheaper cards that i don't even put on the website because like you guys know website is 100 percent free shipping no bullshit with b rand in underground case breaks but with that being said i don't put any singles on the website unless they're uh, unless they're 10 bucks because it's three bucks minimum plus supplies to ship you know what i mean so so i can't even offer you guys good uh on my end granted you don't pay for it but i'm not gonna sell a five dollar card and then charge you three dollars to ship it that's silly ebay doesn't you don't have to do that anymore so regardless that's really cool you can check that out but it is time to break so i'll show you guys everything since i have the random uh random assignments on the screen blocking up some real estate for me stratus stratus we got threads i had a lot of fun opening this box last week i think we did it on friday it's been a little bit uh 2012 update very cool trevor bauer cespedes you know, we pulled out gold Cespedes too. Uh, 2018 Bowman draft. We've yet to find a monster, but we have hit Casey Mize. Bowman Heritage. Uh, finest. 15 Finest has been fired too. The 15 stuff's been great. I don't have any complaints with it for the price point. You have to keep that in consideration. The Strata, the 15 products are the, by far the cheapest products in the break, and they've they've had some really nice things come out of them. So. We'll just continue on as we have been and uh, opening up the 15s first and see how it goes. See how it goes, friends. Good luck, everybody. Here we are. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I <laughs> I get it, Daniel. I really do. I uh, People ask me all the time. I, I'm not even, I'm in a bunch of groups on Facebook and stuff, but I, I turn them all off. My notifications and whatnot, I... It's too much stuff for myself to worry about rather than get caught up in a bunch of internet trolls and silly people that don't know what they're talking about. You can waste hours on end, hours on end trying to argue with some people that you're just literally wasting your time. So uh, at one time, this guy was a pretty pretty hot commodity, at least in terms of potential. Yasmani Tomas, number 125 for the Diamondbacks. 
Uh, that has not been the case for the, the rest of his career. But we're going to get a nice hit here for the Red Sox. Who's got Boston? I think this is a nice hit. Jonathan Eastridge. It's going to be a nice big old napkin patch autograph of uh, Hanram. 25 of 75. Hanley Ramirez. And if you guys want, we'll authenticate this thing right now. Website breaks are the best. Bill, hey, buddy. I appreciate it. Also, a heads up for anyone having trouble finding retail to flip. Barnes & Noble. Oh, snap. I do have one in Maryville. It's in, the, it's in our mall, though. Or, no, I think they closed that down. I have to go to Valparaiso. Which is better, though, because the one in the mall. the mall, Our mall's terrible. Malls are a thing of the past, I think, friends. 25 to 75, Hanley Ramirez. And I just, I mean, we don't have any. I'm not in a big rush. Let's uh, let's look it up. This box is open. You guys want to check this card out? It's my favorite thing. <laughs> fucking love this i don't know if it's just me mlb.com backslash authentication so we'll come in here we're not a robot then we're gonna put the sticker number in on this card jb126251 authenticate hanley ramirez game used a's versus red sox 6 7 15 i remember hanley having a very bad time in boston is that true? That's what I remember. So we'll look up 6, 7, 15 MLB box scores. And here we are. Red Sox Athletics. Red Sox won 7 to 4. Hanley Ramirez, 2 for 4 with a run and an RBI. He played left field in Fenway. So this card that went to Mr. Eastridge. Hanley Ramirez went two for four while he was wearing this relic or patch or jersey or whatever you want to call it. So Hanley Ramirez went two for four the day he wore the material featured in this card that's very cool. Nice hit. I just, I, it's so neat. That's, what other, football and basketball don't offer that. Uh, it's hard to get with the MLB stuff now. So it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. Because Tribute does it. I know Tribute does it, but they use the little tiny, like, nickel-sized patches. And when you put the sticker on them, it, it pretty much covers them up. But I'm trying to think of what else does that. Tribute's really the only thing that comes to mind in that regard. Do this other one. This one feels huge. This one's gigantic. It might be one of those giant shadow boxes we had uh, a couple days ago. This pack's large. The one we couldn't put in the sleeve when I gave everybody the lecture on slitting the sleeves. The rumors of being involved in all the drug smuggling? Yeah. Right, right. I remember. And then, well, they got Esteban Loiza with a ton of coke. That guy used to pitch for the White Sox. Among other teams. Oh, clearly authentic relic card. So what's the, the giant card? Oh, it is. It's a giant shadow box autograph. Kansas City Royal Salvador Perez. One of the best catchers in the game still to this day. Royals. Sean Doolin. I bet you didn't see that coming. That's a nice card. But these are so thick. I don't know if we're going to get it in the sleeve. We had issues the other day. I tried to give the... Oh, we got it over that. Uh-oh. We might get this one. Just have to, like, be very careful. Actually, I don't think we're going to do it. But we will try. Like I said, when you get a card that's too thick, you can just get a really sharp knife. Make sure it's sharp, because you don't want to rip it. You want to you wanna cut it. And then again, you want your corner to go into the not cut side. And then just see if it will go. And it might if we cut it some more. But at a certain point, it's just not worth the fight. But you can pretty well cut this as much as you need to to make it work and then it's just like a it's just not gonna work so you just use a team bag this is the only thing i use team bags for uh jeff gr bunny uh for this break it was 77 gentlemen but i i uh i put a discount code on the website for this break exclusively uh just as a thank you so i didn't i didn't Anybody that knows me, this should go without saying. I didn't charge anyone any more because I gave you guys the little discount code to use. 
That's not at all how I operate. But it is uh, a way I can give back to you guys when when we have a good week. We're having a good week. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Underground's doing well. We had the basketball. That helped. Uh, next week, we have a couple new releases, Series 1. And uh, I, do, I am getting a few boxes of uh, Optic Football. Not many, but I'm getting a few. Uh, we'll see what I can do about getting more. I asked about more, and all they told me about was flagship. So I don't know if they even have any more. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Your uh, former MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. But it was like 7315, I think, with the discount code for this break. I'm going to mix her up in my Facebook group right now for 72. But it's all good stuff. I don't. I, the price is always a little bit much, but. Uh, I don't break like any junk in the mixers. Vintage? Not really, buddy. I don't even know how to do that. Do you ever do Bowman's Best? I'm huge. Bowman's Best is so fucking overpriced, guys. Stop buying that shit. Holy cow. I do have a case coming. I'm going to have to do it like half a case at a time. It's great. I love Bowman's Best. I ripped probably 30 cases of Bowman's Best in 2018. Uh, the problem is it's just so expensive. It went up. It went up again today. I ordered a case yesterday to have, and it was 265. Now it's 285. My cost a box. 285 times fucking eight is 2280 for a case of Bowman's Best. That's Bowman baseball money. It's getting it's getting silly. Bowman's Best is getting silly. There's a too many too many potential one dollar autographs in that product to have it be that much money. So, I can get it for like two thirty a box. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. But it's really still too much money. <laughs> it's just, it's not, that's not what it is. Right, they don't sell for shit historically. We all know that. I'm sitting on Black Label Juan Soto's from Bowman's Best. I know all about it. I love it. I love Best. The Where the price is with the, where the hobby is this year kills me. Here's the problem with the draft picks, though, too, is uh, you don't know, Bill. You don't know about last year's draft picks either. Nobody knows anything about the last two draft classes yet, so you can call it whatever you want. This year's draft class was way more pitcher-heavy than last year at the top, so why is 19 draft class not getting that treatment? It's just the 2020 effect, if you ask me. That's what I think. It's, it's whatever the hell's going on is causing the price to go up. I don't think it has anything to do with the product itself. What's going on? Oh yeah. Let me see some Soto. Soto! Let's see what we can do. Finest. All spec. Yeah, right. It's all speculation. I, I'm not a speculator. I'm a rookie card guy. That's where I make all my like investment, so to speak, money. Anthony Rizzo, baby! Let's go! Refractor autograph for the Cubby Bears. Yes, sir. Sam Lenzo. Yeah, it looks great. I, I don't disagree at all. The price point is wild. If you guys are willing to pay it, I will order 20 cases as soon as we get done. You know what I mean? That's Everybody wants to say it's cool until it shows up and it's like, hey, this is the price and then the five good teams sell. And then there's 25 fucking crickets chirping around the break room and nobody knows what's going on. That's Beard is feeling in nicely. Thanks, bro. The haircut really helped bring out the beard. Uh, Frank Thomas, Generations. Look, we got Phil Hughes. Somebody give him a little tweet ski. I might tweet ski doodle him later. Try and get on Phil's good sign. <laughs> oh, the juice man's so upset with me. If you guys saw my tops tweets, they're not. They don't approve. They don't approve of me being nice. I'll join your best breaks for sure. Yeah, Bill, I plan on doing a couple half case breaks just so I could keep costs down. Uh, that'll be here tomorrow, but it'll probably be early next week or Sunday. Probably be a Monday or Tuesday thing, to be honest with you, because I plan on maybe doing some football this weekend. And then uh, Sunday we got a, a, a children's private event birthday party thing going on uh, before the Super Bowl. So I'm going to be busy on Sunday. Javier Baez, rookie card for the Cubs. I'm all in on 17-year-olds who haven't played a game yet. <laughs> oh, boy. 
I watched a personal break on 2019 Tops Jumbo. 1K? Dude, I got a box of 19 Jumbo right over there. One grand? If that's what that... Who wants to buy my box? But I'm ripping it. I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it to people that are hoarding wax. Because that's the biggest sh sham in the game. Overinflated wax prices. Boxes are that expensive. And right, if you don't get like a best autograph, like the best autograph for a super low number parallel of the one guy of the 300 card set you're screwed absolutely screwed oh uh, who's your special guest <laughs> well for the underground rip party i don't know we get some guests on javier Baez, finest first rookie card michael taylor cubs are doing well Uh, 15, 16, 14. Those are great years in the hobby for a Cubs fan. Hell, even 17. I mean, Ian Happ had some hype. Matt Kemp with the Padres. I don't have a, I don't have a, a special guest. Anybody want to be a special guest for the Underground Rip Party? I did, I will tell you guys, I ordered uh, five additional cases to my allocation for flagship. So, if you're looking for flagship, I'm going to ship all cards. I don't know pricing, so please don't ask me yet. I, I just simply do not know. I don't know when I'll know. It'll be probably Wednesday morning, unless I start selling on the website or something early uh, or late Tuesday. You guys know I really don't like to pre-sell anything. I think pre-selling just means you're very uncertain and I know my prices are good that even if folks can't help themselves and they have to uh, pre-buy somewhere else to when my prices come out people are like oh baby I should have just waited that's why I say if you got in before the hype you scored I wish I would have got in before I got in I would have really scored I'd be you guys would love me you guys will be getting fucking deal after deal after deal. Jake Lamb, refractor rookie card. I like the kid. Injury problems, but he's a good ball player. He can hit. Yeah, there'll be the site, my Facebook group. I'm all over the place. Are we going to get one? No, I thought we were going to get a Donaldson autograph. That would have been sweet. Donaldson likes baseball cards. He was the first retail autograph I ever pulled. I pulled him out of like an old Allen and Ginter. Instead, we're going to get steroids brawn for the Brewers. All fucking Bug Eyes McGee. Ryan Braun, blue refractor autograph for the Brewers. This is probably a pretty good hit. Even in 15. Uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Brewers. Brewers, who's got him? I can't even find him. Brewers 26, Craig, Craig Ledbetter, congrats, buddy. I know you're a Cubs fan, so you love Bug Eyes McGee, too. Sorry, we had to pause before we could even pause for station identification. Braun is no Cedric Mullins. <laughs> That's 100% accurate, as much as I dislike the man. He's much, much more, more better. Vastly improved. Over Cedric Mullins. Matt Kemp, Prism. I won't argue that. Not one bit. Uh, Daniel Norris. We got Samuel Tuavlia. Tuavlia. Jesus, I can use a tongue twister. I know how to say his name and I can't do it. Kyle Sager, Green Refractor. The other Sager, but his brother wasn't in the league yet at this point. So he wasn't quite... The other Seeger at this point for vintage breaks. Yeah, let me let me talk, dude. What you get? What you got here? Breaks with 25 raw, low grade vintage cards, 50 through 70. Couple valuable, rest cheaper stars. Number them. Put them in envelopes for random spots, but not enough people do it. That's a good idea, buddy. It really is my problem. Uh, Jeff is I'm I'm just a younger guy. I'm I mean I'm 30, so I mean I'm not like a baby. But uh, Yasiel Puig number to 250. Uh, Reimer Liriano. Uh, 
is I don't know enough about that old vintage stuff to buy it raw and like feel comfortable about it. Like I don't know how to spot a fake or any of that. So anytime I've ever bought anything vintage, they've always been graded. Just because I don't I don't know. And then if I ever were to resell or like do in a repack or a, a break of what you're talking about, I would just feel terrible if I gave somebody a fake card. That's really my only uh, concern with any of that stuff. Uh, next, what do we want to do? We'll do the Bowman Heritage, and then uh, maybe, maybe the the twelve the twelve update. I do have some more that's coming. I think. You guys are great about hitting me up when you want to sell your stuff. I've almost been getting too many requests for it lately, which is great. So anybody watching. Especially if you're in the Montgomery Club or anything like that. I'm usually buying everything uh, that comes from those online exclusives. Because it helps make the mixers better. So here we go. This is the last box I have on hand though. We're going to have a gold out of the box. Leody Tavares for the Rangers. It's way off center though. Holy cow. I really hope they don't make a trend out of the way quality's gone since about draft came out. Man, Wander. We've had some nice hits come out of these boxes too. Had some stinkers, but there's been some really nice cards too. What's everybody doing this weekend? Anybody doing anything fun for the Super Bowl? Are you guys like uh, hiding out? I don't know. I don't know what everybody does nowadays. I don't even know if I'm going to watch it. I'm still salty. Kyle Lewis, black and white rookie card. Kalanick. Have Ruiz for the Dodgers. I'll probably turn it on and turn it off and I don't know. Bet the house on the Chiefs. Still salty. Just gonna watch. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I get it. Gus Varlin. We're gonna have a Miguel Vargas Refractor. 199 out of 199. There's your eBay 101. eBay 101. It's worth 20 more dollars. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Californians can't do shit. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I know somebody that uh, works on a TV show in California. She said that's exactly what it is. It's like, very fortunate to be working, but you can't do anything. <laughs> so that's wild. Boba Shet, terribly centered rookie card as well. Hitting up the casino in Oklahoma. There you go. That's right, Oklahoma probably doesn't give any fucks. Zach Brown, black and white. Yeah, with stars. It's not saying you aren't doing just fine. No, Jeff, I get it, buddy. I'm listen I'm always uh open to ideas and stuff like that. Anything we can do that's fun, I love it. Uh my big thing is I don't pay attention to anybody else, really. I mean, well, I tell you guys, I don't watch, I really don't watch breaks or any of that. I don't watch uh, podcasts related to the baseball scene or their hobby, even though I really want to start one. I've never watched a single second of a podcast. Uh, sell you all my garbage pail exclusives. I sold that one box for uh, like two fifth. I sold it to somebody in Canada on the website. I, I did sell it for like two seventy five. I had it up for like 200 for a while. It didn't sell. I looked it up. It was over 300 I'm like, shit, I'm raising the price. I raised the price and then it sold. So I did good on that. I sold my soccer too quick. Holy cow, did I cut my own throat on soccer. We have red. Nate Pearson. It's Taylor Trammell. We can't get away from this guy. Taylor Trammell, red refractor for the Padres. We had a super fractor in last year's uh, Bowman Heritage. And just this guy's all over the place for us. Taylor Trammell has come a long way from the old Dayton Dragons. 
Tops archives. <laughs> the weather is nice though. Yeah, absolutely. So I asked her and her brother. Her brother lives in Texas, and they're like uh, my best friends growing up. Her brother lives in Texas now, and she lives in California. She went to like uh, Florida State for like doing film. Very smart woman. And uh, I just I sent him a picture of all the snow we had. I said, I said you guys are smarter than me, huh? Yeah, I sold my UEFA Sapphire to uh, Chris Sharp. But it was the week I brought in the help, so so it paid for the help, you know. <laughs> At the time, it was a great move. Yeah, and then uh, Brett Brett said he opened his two soccer boxes, sold all the base out of it, and then sent like a, he said he, I forget who I'm not a soccer guy. But he said the one guy, if it comes back as a, a 10, it's $5,000. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> Kyle Lewis, rookie. Whatever. It worked for me at the time. I don't have any regrets. It was the best business decision for me to make at the time of business decision making. There's our parallels. I was wondering if we were going to get any. Casey Mize for the Detroit Tigers. Variation. A hole sizer and a refractor of Hunter Green. Mr. 100 mile an hour laser beam dollar sign sign and turd. Face of 2018 Bowman Baseball. Let's see if he's any good. <laughs> After the old Tommy Wan. Reese Hoskins, black and white. Uh, in the, the, the next coming period of time i don't know when it's gonna be it could be a week for now or a month for now i'm going to have gigantic lots of flat rate boxes of just gigantic cards that have that were part of that collect that last collection i bought and it's not picked through stuff so we'll see uh what's available 59 out of 99 i'm not going to charge very much for them i don't know when they'll be ready um but we're literally team bagging all the cards and then boxing them up. So it's it's going to be some time. It's like uh, busy work when we're slow in the shipping department. But that's what she's doing now since the other breaks are already sorted. We'll get this one done and then we'll sort and pack that up. But we'll have those uh, at some point for anybody who's like really into set building and stuff like that. It's going to be all products from all years. There's not going to be any... I want this this or that they're just gonna be this is what it is take it or leave it and it'll be a price so good you're gonna take it just for anybody who's interested in that sort of thing it'd be like a fantastic box for kids or whatever but until I know what what we got going on I'm, I'm not putting a price point or pre-selling them or anything like that I don't know how many we're gonna have it'll probably be like I would assume around 10 maybe maybe more Wander Franco variation Zach Thompson, Hunter Green, number 199. Please don't message me about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll make a post when I know, but just something for you guys to be aware of. If you're interested in that sort of thing. So we move on through here. Nolan Jones, Will Wilson, yeah, Julio Rodriguez, Gliber. This Martian guy. I'm already tired of hearing about Dominguez. He hasn't even played yet. <laughs> I'm already sick of him. Already sick of him. All I know is Dominguez better hit 400 in the minor leagues. That's, that's all I know. He hits 400 in the minor leagues. I'll be on board too. And I mean like across all levels. Still waiting on an auto. Should be coming soon. Well, it might be here. Is that orange? Gavin Lux, rookie. Might be here. Good luck. It's not. But it is an orange and it's Adam Hall. For Baltimore, number 25. There we go. Little plastic scrap in the top loader. Adam Hall, orange refractor. We got a red and an orange out of that box. That's pretty nice. And we're still due for the auto. A 
Jordan. And we're getting a lot of rookies. Sometimes these are pretty uh, stingy in the rookie department. Only get like one or two. We haven't seen Robert, but still two packs left, and we've seen a lot of them. Uh, Alvarez was pretty damn close to hitting 400 in the minors. He was at one point in AAA hitting like 400 with like 20 home runs before they called him up. But yeah. Well, who's ever had this much hype before they've ever played a game at all? So, he better hit 400. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, with the minor league Alvarez stats, baby. At triple A, he hit 343 with 23 home runs and 71 before they called him up with a 443 on base percentage. That's what's huge. He had 38 walks. When a guy can hit like that with that much average and has plate discipline, that's just a scary combination. There's Robert. Our autograph is going to be Adam Hill. Look up Sam Huff minor league stats. Are they good? I'm sure they are. But what level? You know what I mean? If it's at rookie ball, I'm not. projected to hit 266 this year. Is he going to be in the big leagues? Did Sam Huff play in the big leagues this year? Did I miss that? Henry, did that happen? It says he had 31 at-bats last year. 10 games. Hit 355. Three home runs. Where the hell was I at? I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Good for him. Uh, minor, yeah, but I mean, he only—that's great because he only played a high A ball. The minors in four seasons in the minors, he only hit 264, 56 home runs, and that's all A ball, high A, and rookie ball. So, I mean, it's not like he did very good. He's 23. He was never in double A or anything. Straight to the big leagues. Good for him. Good for him. Sorry, we'll get back to the break. Some of you guys are probably like, Jesus, Brand, open the cards. Have to turn your sound on to figure out what I'm talking about. Is there more than one chat going on? Yes, absolutely, Jeff. There totally is, bud. I stream live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And my chat window shows both of the chats. So, yeah, I know you're on YouTube, but I'm chatting with Facebook as well. So, yes, there's definitely two chats going on. Sometimes I say that, but I, I did not this time. My apologies. You're not crazy. <laughs> you're, not, you're not going nuts, bud. I promise. I just like to talk to the people. My man of the people. Kind of. I, I don't know. 2012 update. See what we have for an encore on this. Pretty cool. This is a pretty cool trip down memory lane. Andrew Kashner. That's how we got Rizzo, baby. We have Monty Grandall Quintana rookies right there. And Garrett Richards Gold rookie for the Angels. Uh, the Mike Trout cards are worth some coin. Garrett Richards, gold. You have Grandall for the White Sox now, but this will go to the Padres. Grandall rookie card. Jose Quintana. I don't care where this bum went. What a what a turd. Fucking non-dishwashing motherfucker. Might be the Gallo Huff show. Could be. Could be. Will Omen. Derek Norris. We got Josh Vitters for the Cubs. Terrible. Will Middlebrooks rookie card in there.
spent like an hour opening this box last time. I was enamored. Dan Ugla. Whew. He's awful. All-star Dan Ugla. Put some respect on his name. Chris Perez. I thought that said Chris Archer. So, wait, I don't think so. Dan Ugla. Old Snicker. Snicker's still with the Braves? Is he their manager now? Third base coach. Brian Snicker. Where's he at? Cespedes coming up. Ishikawa. We got Cognac. Ian Kinsler. And Cespedes uh, debut. Ian Kinsler was a heck of a ball player too. Eduardo Escobar gold rookie card. He's still playing. Beltran, one of the best to ever do it. What a jokester on the diamond, too. That was fun to watch. It's like one of the real fun guys to watch baseball. I don't know why he doesn't get more hobby love. He played offense and defense at an extremely high level. Uh, Mike Moustakis gold. Paul Canerco. Henry Blanco, Dan Straley, Matt Harvey, what could have been? Bryce Harper, Future Stars. The mini Bryce Harper here. Sorry, I don't have uh, tobacco loaders for those mini cards. Be nice to get an autograph just to see who the heck it would be. Estrada, we're gonna have who is this? Lucas Lutige. David Freeze. AJ Pierzinski. What a schmuck. I'm not a Pierzinski guy. His no chin have an ass. Michael Barrett took the rest of it off him for him. Go Cubs, go. Cole Calhoun rookie. And Mark Trumbo, gold upside down. See, look, even back in, we're getting a ton of... There's like a gold in every pack. You know there's way less of this printed than there is today. Just look at this, what's coming out of this box. David Wright, Cognac, the captain, baby. I'm going to get a U Darvish debut rookie for the Rangers. Brian Bogusevic, Cliff Lee, gold. CC Sabathia. I mean, this this product is a who's who. It seems like there's just not that many turds. Everybody you pass is like a good name, a solid name. Brian Webb's not Chavez. As soon as I say it, of course, you know. Jeremy Hefner, Joey Votto. David Price, Adam Jones, Trevor Bauer, rookie card. This is the debut, though, for the Diamondbacks. They said he's signing with the Mets, and then they turned right around and was like, he's not signing with the Mets, or it's not official yet, or whatever. So, who's Bauer signing with? Sign yet? Erasmo Ramirez, Clay Rapata, Brandon Beachy. Is that Ryan Terrio? Oh, that's post Cubs days. The Giants, he was on his way out. I think it was it was either him or Fontenot, I forget which one. Got traded to the Giants while they were in San Francisco. It was like after a game. They're like, hey, uh just go in that other clubhouse and, and stay there. <laughs> Thanks for everything. That's pretty much how that went down. Tyler Pasternicki. 
Like the Braves rookie. It's a very funny trade that happened because it was I think it was for like a player to be named or like it wasn't a big a big trade. <laughs> Just like yeah, you while we're here, <laughs> you're not flying back with us. David Price All-Star Workout Jersey. Very cool. Tampa Bay Rays. 2012 Workout Jersey. It says it right there. From an event-worn festivities workout jersey. Tampa Bay Rays with a little blue relic. But unfortunately, that means more than likely no autograph. We're going to get an A.J. Pollock rookie, though. So much gold. Brandon Dixon. Jeff Kappinger. Pollock, true rookie. Very underrated outfielder. You Darvish, future stars. Zeus Montero, the whole pack's upside down. A little mini Darvish for the Rangers. <laughs> That's funny. One game for each team right in the middle of a doubleheader, huh? <laughs> that is funny. David Carpenter. Joe Nathan, Adam Jones, Cognac, All-Star Game. That's funny. Boone Logan. Tyler Moore, Michael Young, Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Gonna be a grand all debut, I believe. Octavio Deltel, fucking Doc Ock. Oh, that's funny. Paul Canerco, Gold, Robinson, fucking Roids, Cano. Oh, he ruined his legacy. Jeez. Twice. Ruined. Got caught cheating more times than Sammy Sosa, and they won't even let him in the Hall of Fame. Come on now. That test was supposed to be anonymous. Anonymous. Let's see me. Let all the steroid guys in. You're gonna have to. You let all the amphetamine users in. You just have to. Baseball writers are terrible people. Brian Dozier, who the fuck are they to judge someone else? I don't like it. I don't understand how they can defend one and not the other. Plus they say steroids save baseball and here we are enjoying it years later. Wasn't that detrimental to the game? You know what I mean? Manfred's worse for baseball than anybody else. Justin Turner with the Mets. There's a throwback. 47 out of 2012, too. Low number. Xavier Avery. Ryan Cook. Turner's so old, too. Did the Dodgers sign him back, Henry? Did Turner sign somewhere? Oh. Somebody's in trouble. <laughs> Mark Trumbo mini. Joe Kelly the goat. I love it. Joe Kelly. It's my most coveted Cardinals rookie card. Only because he's a real man. I love it. Andrelton Simmons, he signed a one-year deal. The Twins, maybe? Where'd he sign? Will Middlebrook's Cognac rookie. Vance Worley. Where'd Andrelton sign? Was it the Twins? Why do I think it's the Twins? Everybody signs with the Twins. He wants four-year deal. Dodgers only offering two. Well, he's 100 years old. How could he want a four-year deal? That dude's got to be like 36 or 37. Justin Turner's old. He's so old, like, his freckles look old. You know what I mean? 
36 years old. He's getting up there. Ginger folks show their age. He opted out. Who opted out? Who's opting anywhere? Elian Herrera, Matt Moore's upside down. I love it. Simmons opted out, said he considered what? Like he's not playing baseball? Huh. Oh, and that's that sucks because Royce Lewis said he was eager to learn from him. Watch it with the ginger talk. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. I said what I said. Uh, finalized one year. Opt to opt out the last week of Angels season. Oh, he opted out last year. He has issues. Yeah, that was last year. I remember that. He opted out of the final five games. He's just done playing in that with the Angels and all the COVID shit going on. I don't blame anybody who did that. Nobody knows the truth. That's the biggest problem. So if you get the if you get bad stuff in your head, man, it's not easy to get that shit out of your head. Judging people, twisting story. Yeah, I get it. He's human. Angelton Simmons is human. Leave him alone. He'll be there with the twins. Maybe he'll teach you. No, you're right. You're just wrong. He did sign with the twins. And Royce Lewis, who was the 17th number one overall pick, who's turning into a gigantic bust, uh, is excited to learn from him. And we're going to get one of these silk units again. Look at this. We got one last time. Last time it was Steve Ciszek, I believe. Who's this one? Another Marlin. Randy Choate. Oh, Randy Chode for the fish. 17 out of 50. Fowler to the Angels. I did see that. Randy Chode. It's, it's cooking, boys. Spring training's coming up soon. Oh, baseball's in the air. Ooh, it's like Christmas. I'm so excited. I mean, look at this mine. We're happy. Mm. Grass. Mm. Fresh chalk lines. Oh, yeah. It's happening. It's happening, folks. Get ready. Manfred can't stop him now. Chad Durbin. Hamill. Grinky. And there she is. Bryce Harper. All-Star game. I haven't seen any Troutskis yet. FIFA Mobile, what's up, bro? Guten Tag, brother. What's up, dude? We're doing a little baseball, uh, American baseball. Patrick Corbin. Paul Goldschmidt. You guys, do you guys do baseball in Germany? Or you just mostly like soccer and basketball. Chris Ionetta, gold. Angels making the play. I don't know. I, it's it's too hard to say. You'd like to think they're going in the right direction, but they need pitching. They have hitting. A healthy Otani that could pitch for a whole year could be a gigantic game changer. He's just never really had a chance to get going. I don't know. It's interesting, though. That's why they play the games, baby. Dallas Keuchel for the Strohs. Robinson Cano, Cognac. Smells like steroids, though. It's awkward. Eduardo Escobar, second time. This 2012 has got a lot of cool stuff. None, none of it's like world beater talent, but it's a lot of good talent. You got Cy Young's in here, all stars, all kind of good stuff. Chris Iannetta, Donovan Solano, Josh Hamilton, Tommy Malone, John Jaso. Not so popular in Germany, but I like it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Chase Darno. Chipper Jones. Hmm. Hall of Famer. You got Hall of Famers in here as active players. Joe Nathan. He was a stud. Chad Godin. Fernando Rodney. You got Jordan Danks. Jim Tomey, also Hall of Famer. Kutch, MVP. I mean, 2012's got it going on. Matt Latos in there. He was good for a little bit.
Hey, uh, FIFA Mobile, just out of curiosity, buddy, what time is it? You guys, do you guys do the time? What time is it right now for you? That's always interesting to me, too. Jose Bautista. Even got guys who got smoked after bat flips. <laughs> Even got <laughs> poor knocked out victims. Are you able to buy any in America? Uh, 8 p.m. See, it's, it's 1 p.m. here. That's cool. Um, 1920 with Zion? I'm sure I could, but it's probably ultra expensive. I think somebody said that last year's hoops are like seven, eight hundred a box. And who knows if they've gone up since then. Mark Trumbo, gold. Hector Santiago. Last pack. Starling Marte. Steroids Marte. Look at this. This is probably money. Oh, Barack Obama. Uh, I live outside of Chicago. The Central Standard Time Zone. I live at the like tip of Lake Michigan. I, I'm sorry. That card, I just, I feel like that card's worth a fortune. And we're going to have to like randomize it to the break if it's worth money. Stuff's like bigger than baseball. It's like iconic. Not to get, I'm not getting political, but he played for the Orioles in 2012. I mean, there's literally like a contest. I don't know what the contest is for. Sweepstakes for something. So we'll look. We'll see if we even see anything. 2012 tops update. Oh, it's only like a $3 card. Okay, so it's not wild. I thought, you know, maybe it would be gigantic. Oh, presidential predictor. Uh, I suppose there were other ones too. Alright, so it's not that expensive. So, I mean, we can randomize it if you guys want. Or we can just slip it in someone's package. You guys let me know. Somebody's dying to have it. I don't, I don't know if that's the case. But I thought that might end up being more than what it is. Rando. I mean, we can't slip it in me. Put it in the ceiling. Oh, that's what we should do. We should put it in the ceiling. Let's see? And two people asked for it, so we gotta randomize it. It'll get randomized. We'll randomize it at the end of the break. No big deal at all. Go to everybody. Um, Triple threads. Triple threads. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO Let's get some triple threads Piazza. Oh. Who's, who's knocking at my door? I know my sound is on. Mike Piazza. Tom Terrific. Number to 99. Tom Seaver. We're going to have. Correa, Scherzer, J.D. Martinez base, first hit, it's going to be a nice autograph, number to nine, extra base hits, Ozzy Albies, nine and nine, for Atlanta, Brendan Reznikoff, congrats buddy, he's just been in the Acuna shadow, he's a good player, switch hitting second baseman, 
with the hustle. Ozzy Albies, 9-9. Nine and, nine. and the Padres are up next. Eric Hosmer, big old giant bat relic. Number to 27. 22 of 27. For Hosmer. Yeah, triple threads is very nice. It's very expensive too, especially after release. Good looking stuff. We have Big Poppy, number to 99 for the Red Sox. Al Kaline, RIP. Hall of Famer. Base action. We're going to have Garrett Cole, Machado, Todd Helton. Please be a relic. It's not very good either way. Ahmed Rosario. Base path thievery. 25 of 27. The autograph's less than spectacular. I'm just hoping there's a Tatis in this case somewhere. It's going to be Christian Vasquez, number 75 for the Red Sox. Thirty-seven out of seventy-five. Let's do the Sapphire update. Let's see what's updating with the uh, Sapphire here. Chris Davinsky, Angels card, Trout in Upton. Gonna have this one's worth money. Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners. I saw somebody post one and they said they were selling for good money. And Mike Trout too. That's got to be something. Non-base Trout. It's good stuff. Anything with Griffey is good in my book. Let's do this. It's just like, I don't like doing this, but when we're going to sleeve every card, we might as well get them all out. These cards are too expensive not to sleeve them all. Maybe an autograph. I'm putting that at the bottom. There's something flipped over. I bought that trout for 30. Yeah, I think the Griffey's in the same neighborhood. So that's good. One pack. I have a couple of those bangers like that. Base, base bangers. Because you're going to have guys like this. Austin Pruitt. What card sleeves do you have? They're just ultra pro card sleeves. I don't have a, a label to show you or anything. Ultra Pro is the company. They look like this. But so that's a top loader box. Eric Dames for the Nets. Jose Martinez. The Rays. Michael Fulmer. We have Sean Poppin. I wish there was another O in that name so badly. Have a ball. Jesus Tanoko for the Rockies. Bryce Wilson for the Braves. If you guys like this, that next mixer, we have two boxes of this in that. Travis Shaw. You just like collecting sapphire cards. 
Adam Angle with the white socks. Have to make another sleeve stack. Uh, Gabe Spear. Kyle Ryan for the Cubs. Giovanni Gallegos. Stevie Wilkerson. Chicago Cubs Green Refractor. Ian Miller, number to 45. I couldn't tell you a thing about this guy. Not my rookie. Ty France for the Padres. Yeah, you might be right there, Henry. Or at least it would catch someone's eye if you posted it and it hadn't been around for a while. You know what I mean? A Danny Hechevarria. Gonna get our first nice rookie. It's gonna be a rookie debut of Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. Pedro Strope, he's come back home to Chicago. At least I think. I don't know if he's still here or not. Gyro and Diaz for the Rockies. Pujols. You have Yoshi Tsutsugo for the Rays, rookie card. Derek Holland. For the Pirates. We have Jonathan Davis. For the Blue Jays. Astros celebratory card here. Houston we have left off. I believe this is going to be an autograph. It's going to be Mauricio Dubon. For the Giants follow on Instagram you have nice cards I'm really bad about posting on Instagram but thank you I've pulled some very nice cards over the years so absolutely I have a ton of stuff I need to post there I just it's the last place I'm going because I can't even stream there so why do I even bother with the Instagram really just post some hits maybe people will find their way over go to the website or whatever anyway we gotta clean this up Need that lint roller I've been hearing about. We'll take a sip. We're going to do this 2018 Bowman draft. Hopefully, we find a couple of nice low numbered monsters, baby. Find a bone guy, you know, one of them big bones. They've been on the top, so we'll just assume that's the case. This is the last box of this break. Paper. Brandon Marsh, Joe Jock, Key Brian Hayes, Stever, Ryan Weathers, Bryce Turang, Refractor, Heliot Ramos. Viva Mobile, buddy. I don't. I don't know. It. It all depends on what you want out of it. If you're collecting just to try and maybe make money later, or if you're collecting just based on what you like. Bull Burrows, number four ninety nine. Nico Horner, first Chrome, for the Cubs. Ethan Hankins. So look, this autograph's not where I thought it would be. Cleveland Indians, Ethan Hankins. It's not a good start in the hit department. Matt Verling. And nice. Matt's huge hit. Paid for your break, I guarantee it. Jared Kelnick, base refractor. New York Mets, Lucas Tarter. I'm almost 100% positive that this card just paid for your break. This is the Bowman effect. 2018 Bowman Draft Jared Kilnick Refractor. 
Yeah, ninety dollars. The last one sold for this morning. Ninety dollars for a base refractor. Eighty nine ninety five on Wednesday. Seventy five on Tuesday. Yeah, there you go. One card. There's your whole break, and then some. You know what I mean? So one break. Yeah, right next to your baby. There you go, babe. Congrats. It's better than the autograph. And it's just a base refractor. It's crazy. That's what baseball collectors are late to the party in understanding, though. And I think that's why you're starting to see the those types of cards go up in value. Yeah, basketball is super expensive. There's no doubt about it. Jarvis, Hankins, Ornalis, Bohm, insert, Chris Bubik, Bukowskis. Sandlin, Soto, Sanchez, Adams, Alfonso Rivas. 81 out of 99 green refractor Kelnick franchise futures will not be nearly what your base refractor is but it's probably a few dollars Alfonso Rivas green refractor for the athletics Lizardo, Jeremiah Jackson, Luis Robert, still a few dollars, even though it's not his first recommended viewing insert. Mason Dinaberg, Chris Paddock, Refractor. But even this Robert's a few dollars as a base card for the White Sox. Griffin Roberts, Tristan Conti, Bo Bichette. Oh, no. Kelnick, base card. Yes, sir. Brady Singer, refractor for the Royals. The Mets, baby. The Mets. Just the base card is, let's see, it's just the base. It's crazy. Why can't I find a raw base? Two of them for 72, so like 35. 45. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Papers are 10 bucks. Jesus. Double up. Yeah, dude, you're doing good. The Mets are killing it. Just on two cards. Two non-numbered cards. The Mets are killing it. I am not. I'm a Cubs fan, friend. I am not a White Sox fan. Griffin Kona and Jonathan India. We have Luyoti. Grayson Giannisto. We pulled his autograph not long ago. It was a second rounder, I believe. Yeah, 49th overall. Luke and Baker. Jonathan India, number to 250 for the Reds. Recommended viewing. Matt Mercer. Paper Robert. Even some of this paper stuff is worthwhile. Be great stuff to sell on eBay with that stupid standard envelope. Alex McKenna. Gilbert, Schroeder, Diekman, Abreu, Daniel Lynch, Sparkle. More recommended viewing. Jaron Kendall, Jeremiah Jackson. Should be two autographs left since we had one in a, a strange place. I'm going to take the middle pack first because that's where we found our autograph. Could be one in here. There's sky blue autos. Bowman? I don't think so. 
Use Nil Diaz, number to 402. Dane Dunning, Griffin Conine. All right, friends. It's time for the moment you've all been waiting an hour and 20 minutes for. Green paper, Sean Murphy, number to 99. Ryan Mountcastle Refractor, Logan Gilbert, Janista, and Diamondbacks Refractor, Alec Thomas, number to 499. Mr. Celebrity. There you go, sir. He was a first round pick, yeah? No, second, sorry, 63rd overall. Good numbers. He's a Chicago kid. I know some. Chicago guys that like him. And our last hit of the break. Oh, it's going to be base, I think. I want it to be not base. I can't think this thing into being a colored parallel, though. Or talking into it for that matter. What's with the A's parallels? Jameson Hanna. We're going to have Cody Deason, Bo Bichette Refractor, Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. He's in the big leagues. Key Brian Hayes, and we're going to get Ryan Jeffers base autograph for the Minnesota Twins. He's like their fifth catcher. They carry 100 catchers on their roster. The student Pavix Village is a super collector. Of Jeffers and uh, he is in the big leagues Minnesota Twins Kevin Yunyak there you go sir Ryan Jeffers is the last hit of the break Tyson Valinsky is the only person I know that buys Ryan Jeffers stuff he's in the group though you could find him easy let's do this recap shall we I don't even know what we're gonna recap but let's do it Got a big old stack of stuff. Thanks for playing along, everybody. Probably have another one here for you soon. Ryan Jeffers. Alec Thomas, Refractor, number 499. Kelnick, Base, Alfonso, Rivas, Green, Refractor. Kelnick, Base, Refractor. Ethan Hankins, Base Autograph. Mauricio Dubon, Sapphire, Rookie Autograph. Kyle Lewis in there as well with Ian Miller, number 45. Griffey and the Troutsky as well. Christian Vasquez, Ahmed Rosario, Big Poppy, Hosmer, the best hit of threads was Albies, number to nine. Tom Terrific, Bryce Harper, Silk, uh, Randy Chode, you know, you say like that, it's funnier. You Darvish, Future Stars, David Price, 2012 workout jersey. Bryce Harper, Adam Hill, Adam Hall, Sam Huff. Taylor Trammell, number to five. Leody Tavares, Kyle Seeger, Seeger, number 299. Steroids Braun, number to 150. What time do you think the other mixer might break? Uh, as soon as it's full and paid, I'm here. I already had lunch. I'm good to go. Anthony Rizzo, refractor autograph. Andrew McCutcheon, hand ram, number to 75. I don't know where we're at with it, though. I know it's close to being full. Yasmani Tomas, number to 125. Would you like me to wait? <laughs> we also had the Salvador Perez beautiful shadow box autograph. It's too big for a sleeve, so it'll go in a case instead of a top loader. But that is the break, friends. Thank you very much. Shipping will be working on this here momentarily. And we'll see.